not going to talk to you today about the 10 to 18 times the rate of our soil loss caused by farming. I'm not going to talk to you about what's happening to the rest of the soil, desertification, soil salinization, pollution through chemical runoff, or new subdivisions and industry. I'm not going to talk to you that we're also losing water in our aquifers. That 60% of the world's aquifers are being depleted faster than they're being filled. I'm not going to talk about the energy change that we have growing food. It used to be in the 1940s, it only take one fossil fuel calorie to make 2.3 calories of, of food. Now, we only get one-tenth of the calorie food for every calorie of fossil fuel. That's a 23 times reduction. I'm going to talk about nitrogen fertilization increasing from 1960 by three times, while agricultural land has stayed pretty much the same. Or phosphorus increasing, doubling. What happens to that nitrogen and phosphorus? We only get 10 to 30 percent utilization. The rest of it goes into our atmosphere, into our waters, into the oceans. We see that the reactive nitrogen on this planet has increased. You can see all the farming areas on this planet. What happens with this nitrogen? With our health, upper respiratory disease, asthma, cancer, birth defects, cardiovascular disease, sudden infant death syndrome. Phosphorus is being applied on this planet at 10 times the assimilation that this planet can take it in. You can see it also in the many areas. What does all this give us? Well, Lake Erie last year. In the summer of 2014, a giant algae bloom took over Lake Erie. It was so big, you could see it from space. This algae contained a toxin that could cause vomiting and liver damage. Leaving over half a million people with no safe drinking water. The residents have been served notice, stop drinking water, don't shower, and don't let pets come near tap water. The documented dead zones on this planet. This should cause us pause for what we're doing. Same thing with pharmaceutical consumption, chemical industry outputs, and global pesticide application. Six times increase since the 1960s. What's being correlated with that is increase in multiple sclerosis, Crohn's disease, type 1 diabetes, and asthma. Autism has increased 84 times since 1975. Autism now affects more American children than childhood cancer, diabetes, and AIDS combined. What's closely associated with that is our use of glyphosate. Farmers in the U.S., farm cash income is the same as it was in 1960. Farm debt has increased 14 times. Farm leverage is the same it was back in 1980. Our return on invested cash, we've had a three times decrease. This is not a viable business model. So the challenges we have ahead, produce higher quality and more nutrient dense food on declining land area, using less water, fewer energy and natural resources, do all of this under difficult economic circumstances with soils and ecosystems that are continually being degraded. We have a challenge in the future. We're not gonna change this by fighting the existing reality. This thing is too big. The only way we're gonna change this is to bring a new model that makes that system obsolete.